video, an Olympics video. First time we're going to be talking about sports. Oh no, the flower just fell off my mic. No, that's actually kind of sad. Anyways, we got Imani Sharif and uh, I totally forgot the other girl's name. I feel so bad, so bad for her right now. Uh, uh, Angela Carini. Now, Logan Paul ended up posting this. This is the purest form of evil unfolding right before our eyes. A man was allowed to beat up a woman on a global stage, crushing her life stream while fighting for her deceased father. The delusion must end. And I agree with Logan. Uh, except for that this was a biologically born female with an X and Y chromosome, which is crazy to me. It's a rare occurrence, ladies and gentlemen, but it's crazy to me. With uh, genetically male characteristics, like the bone density, I'm thinking like the shoulder. I mean, look at those shoulders. They're like absolutely insane. Um, so I'm thinking that they are, they have the genetic, uh, genetic, uh, makeup of a woman, but they're also got like some very defining male features. Uh, and then Jake Paul goes, uh, and says this to Angelina Carini, although your dreams couldn't come true today because of the crazy agendas that are at play in our world at the moment, I would love to offer you a fight on an MVP undercard to show the world your talents on a fair platform and not against the man internet help this fight her. And then Logan Paul went ahead and made a correction, which is kind of crazy, I'm not gonna lie. Logan Paul goes ahead and corrects, he says, oopsies, I might be guilty of spreading misinformation along with the entirety of this app. Although she's been previously disqualified for failing a gender test and has XY chromosomes, some sources say Imani Khalifa was born a biological woman. I still stand by my sentiment, and I'm going to be real. If you have male characteristics and XY chromosomes, and you're failing a gender test, are you even a female at that point? Because the basic form of life is pretty much male, right? Isn't that what we were taught in biology? I'm pretty sure I thought like everything could uh, that everything is male and then could be female or something like some. I don't know. Maybe I'm I'm speaking out of my ass. I don't even know. But I still stand by the sentiment. Uh, the opinion that men shouldn't be allowed to compete against women is not transphobic. I still stand by that. Today, men should not be allowed to compete against women. Biological men should not be allowed to compete against biological women. We could have biological women compete against men. Uh, but men have an innate biological advantage when it comes to sports and athletics. It's just how it is. It's how it works. Look at look at the fist. My fist is bigger than the majority of almost every single woman's fist on this planet. I definitely can punch harder than the majority of women on this planet. That's not saying women can't punch harder than me, but I'm saying I, 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 even at a professional level, you get your greatest man, get your greatest woman, they are going to out-punch them nine times out of ten. Right? You get the worst one on the spectrum. The, uh, the worst man and the worst woman could definitely still out punch you know the worst woman it, it is what it is uh, then you got the bell curve and some women are the exception and stuff like that but i don't want to get too far into that that's not what we're here to talk about i still stand by the sentiment that uh the same thing with logan paul men should not be allowed to compete against women it's not transphobic i don't think it is just outcry outcry i mean i mean how do you fail a gender test in the women's uh 2023 how do you fail a gender test if you're a biological female how do you fail a gender test? I don't know. It's a tricky road, but if they were banned from a women's competition before, they should be banned from this one. This is the global stage. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Because I do think trans I do think transgender athletes should have a place in the sport. And I do think it belongs with competing with the men. Trans women compete with the men. Trans men compete with the men. Why? Because that's the pinnacle of athletics. Right? And people will say, why are we protecting women's sports? Well, Women's sports already has a bad rep around the world. And I don't want it to be a place where biological men can just compete against women and beat the fuck out of them and destroy them. It is what it is. Guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. I'll see you on the next one. Subscribe if you're brand new. And I'm out of here.